The NSX also has the ability to add down scan. This is high resolution imagery at the bottom that can be used whether you're diving or fishing. And we're gonna walk you through the steps on how to set it up and manipulate that image. So if we have an HDI transducer or an active imaging two-in-one or three-in-one transducer plugged into the NSX, we have the ability to view downscan. So to get to downscan, you hit the home button and simply choose the downscan icon. And what this does is gives you a high resolution image of what the floor looks like, the bottom looks like. Uh, it's a very limited uh, information of what the water column looks like. Uh, but what we have here is called Fish Reveal, where we're taking from our echo sounder and bringing in those targets in an offset color, where we now get the best of the water column versus the best of the bottom. Because when we see down imaging on a traditional echo sounder, this is just going to be a red line. We can't see all the nooks and crannies, and we don't get the high definition that we do with Downscan. Downscan does have the ability to go into the menu and to uh, control it so you have the ability to manually range or auto range. So usually leaving it on auto range makes it a lot easier. It changes ranges as the depth changes, but you do have the ability to set manual range if you like. Uh, frequency. So you got 455 kilohertz and 800 kilohertz. Remember with frequency it's inversely proportional, so shallow water, 800 kilohertz. Take that out to about 75 to 125 feet. After that you're going to jump over to the 455 kilohertz. Contrast. So we do have the ability to set it in auto. Even in auto, we have the ability to adjust auto to make it as less aggressive or more aggressive as we want. The biggest problem I see in structure scan down and side is they overdrive it. So what happens is you overdrive it or underdrive it to where you lose all of your definition. So you want to take it, start, if you're in auto, start in auto and increase it a little bit or decrease it a little bit to where these leading edges are your brightest color. And now you get that definition. We can see all those holes and all those little areas where there's some definition there. Color palette, just like radar, we have the ability to go in and change your palette. Again, it's all based on personal preference. What do your eyes like? You also have the ability to change the color for day and nighttime modes. So we do have reds and stuff like that for that nighttime. That green's also a good nighttime color. So that's your palettes. Uh, TVG, that's time varied gain. And what that does is that controls the upper 20% of the window. So by increasing it, you'll notice that I've cleaned up this top portion of the window. Uh, and then you can bring it back and you'll notice that it gets brighter and more noise information comes across the top of that screen. So zoom, you know, we can do controls, magnifies, and echo data, or we can do range. So how do we want that plus and minus? Do we want it to be a zoom to zoom in and out, or do we want it to be a range setting, ranging the depth up and down? So again, customizable to how you're going to use the machine. Range lines, if you want to see what the depths are with some simple, easy range lines. And remember, we talked about fish reveal. So when I go and turn fish reveal off, you'll notice that all those targets are gone because those are being pulled from the sounder. So our sounder is bringing in all those targets. And again, in Fish Reveal, we have the ability to adjust our sounder settings. So we don't have to jump out of this page to adjust the sounder settings. And then start recording, which allows us to go and record a file for the day. We can record it to the internal memory or to an SD or USB stick. And then when we do that, what type of support? So SL3 gives us everything. Nine out of 10 times you're gonna stay in SL3 because that's gonna give you side down and your traditional echo sounder. All that information is gonna be recorded to that file so that you can replay it. When you replay this, it allows you to do some different things because that's what we're running here. So we have the ability to actually scroll back in time. So I can go here uh, and then I have the ability now to go in and make a waypoint or use my autopilot and get back to that point. So being able to scroll back in time and just add a waypoint right from there makes it real quick and easy. Uh, so that's something we can do. And as we see, you see here's our data behind us, allows us to scroll back and see what's happening. And at any point, that little icon there jumps you back to the forefront. 
on all panels, you'll see that expand view. So we get full page. So at any given time, you can go to full page and then drop back down. And at the top, we have the ability to pause, which is a great feature. You're taking this thing, putting it up on a lift or taking it out on the trailer. You can turn that transmitter off. And then you have your plus and minus ranges where you can either zoom or range depending on what you set it up in the menu as.